Oh, YouTube! We are back on the Halloween trail, and we're back at Michael's today. Last week, we stopped at the Michael's. It was probably like 45 minutes to an hour from my house. Uh, and I was surprised when I walked in the door. I was expecting a Lee Max Village. They didn't have it, and they had all that Halloween stuff out. So we're going to go on the Michael's closest to me and see what they have. Maybe they'll have the Lee Max and a little more stuff that wasn't in my last video. So let's go check it out. Let's see what they got. Okay, folks, we are inside. They brought the blow molds back from last year. The little vintage ones for... 1999 and that's pretty damn heavy plastic so that's cool they don't light up or anything like that but they're still vintage i got the little kitty is the kitty the same price and kitty is 20 bucks they just brought these in last year and they do have a little sign up here that says throwback vintage vibes so that's what they're aiming for there's a little coffin sign please don't wake the dead all wood 15 bucks a big welcome sign i think that's uh 16.99 they've got little pumpkin pillows they're $24.99 they are doing bottles again this year man so they have poisonous toad tongues and toadstool clippings $7.99 and I think they're glued down they don't open and they've also got witch's brew in a black bottle for $8.99 spider silk and black cat whiskers so looks like they're doing the bottles too we got a couple of more books that we didn't see we saw that one the book of uh fairy anthropy last time the poisoner's handbook so that's kind of cool that's different a little storage book for 20 bucks and the books are getting expensive there's just a bunch of hocus pocus that's kind of a thick wooden sign a little twine hanger and that guy is $22.99. So that's a big sign. That's got to be two feet long. Okay, trick or treat. I think we saw those in the other video. The boo, the happy Halloween. It's all a bunch of hocus pocus for 30 bucks. Again, their pillows are ridiculous. We saw the guys in my last video. The Wicked Witch in, come in for a spell. Now that is heavy, man. This is a cool plaque. 25 bucks, and that's a good piece of chunk of wood that would sit on your porch. So I like that. All right, let's creep around the corner and see if they got anything else new. Okay, right around the corner, they got these little dragon eye pumpkins for 20 bucks, but it's just a sticker. It's not an eyeball, but you could actually put your own cabochon in there and make it really cool, though. I think we saw the oil slick skulls. We saw the plankets, I believe, for 12 bucks, wooden. And they're doing the whole esoteric thing for, I don't know, did we see this one in my last video? It's a beautiful sign. Got the death's head moth. If we didn't see it in my video, it is $29.99. And oh, look at this. They got plates, too. Oh, look at you. Michael's stepping up and getting to the plate game. Okay, $7.99. little eyeball and some kind of uh, filigree. Again, visualization. I don't know if that was in my last video or not. I don't remember. $12. Bucks. Not worth it for a lightweight uh, MDF sign. What is this stuff? Base fillers? They got little thistles or whatever this year. Oh, here's a sign that was definitely not in the last one. See if they got the Venus flytraps. Salem Apothecary and Potions. That is awesome. Man, they are killing it with the signage this year, except for this one's ruined. Looks like some side broke off. That's a perfect one. And these guys are $21.99. They're all wood. Printed on the front, so... Gotta keep it on a porch or something, but that's really kind of cool. We really don't need a ghetto busted birdie. Again, more pillows. They have the hawk moth again. They have the eyeball pillow. These guys are probably 30 friggin' dollars again. Their pillows are insane here. What is the price on the pillow? No price. Free. Okay. The steer's head pillow is 30 bucks. The cauldrons were new. We didn't see the cauldrons last time for $14.99. Oh, just a little storage cauldron. You can put keys or trinkets or whatever else in there. Maybe candles. It's ceramic, and it's got some good weight to it. it. Looks like it has a little, little stag beetle on there. Can you get up in there, phone. Come on, phone. So not too bad. Uh, we did see the bugs in the last one, the cool witch's potion. Oh, they brought these guys back. These are awesome. I have one of these hanging in my shop. Fifteen bucks. Just needs a little dry brushing. These are super cool. And there was two designs last year. Okay, so these guys are all obviously the same design. They're just hanging with their head forward, but they had two designs for those. 
Do we see the succulents? Oh, somebody busted the paint off this one. 20 bucks for a little pot, for a little skull pot, and they're, they're concrete. You can see it's rough underneath, so. Let's see, eternal rust, little mini tombstone. 15 bucks. I'm a goner. Hardy har har. And you'll be next. And these guys were all $14.99. And they got a bunch of glitter crows, which you're not going to touch. And the favorite pillow I saw last time, which I knew, is 30 bucks. So let's creep over and see what else we can find. All right, so they got more signage. Happy Halloween with glitter on it. They got the overpriced wreaths. Uh, this is a cool pillow if they didn't put Happy Halloween on it. Again, it's another, I think, $30 pillow. I think this one's 30 bucks. Yeah, 30 bucks, $29.99. They actually have white uh, crystal uh, candelabras. This is kind of cool. Those guys are 40 bucks. A bunch of glitter skulls, put it down. What are you doing? You're going to shake glitter all over the damn store. Put it down. Now you're contaminated. They've got these double stack skulls that are covered in white pearl glitter, which I'm not touching. And I think they're probably... I don't know. I don't even want to attempt it. There's the other cool sign we saw. I don't know if we saw this one or the last one. But this is pretty cool. How much is this guy? Flip the tag around so I can see the price. Good job, Savage. This one's 25 bucks for this sign. It's got a really cool frame. MDF again. Oh, and they got the ornaments. The bride and the... Uh... Oh, the outline of the bride. That's actually kind of cool. And the mercury bottles. And I think we saw those pillows last time. Welcome to our oh, welcome to our haunted house. Enter at your own risk. Hey, no glitter on that. We'll touch that. That guy's 20 bucks. All right, let's go to the other wall and see what they have over there. All right, so they got a whole bunch of stuff. They got more. Look at that cobweb dust. Pretty cool. It's calling to me. These little mercury glass bottles are $7.99. So they have vampire bat wings, toxic pumpkin tonic, Trick or treat, blah blah blah. We saw the coffins. We saw those in other videos. Trick or treat pillows. They got a little bat. Oh, this is metal. That's heavy. Okay. So 19 bucks for the candelabra with the bats. Oh, somebody broke the weld already. That sucks. I'll be welding that back up. What are these guys? Little dangling pictures? You stick them on the edge of a cabinet or a shelf and their little feet little dangle. What's up, fool? Do a kickflip. $14.99. Do a flip. Seems overpriced. Kick flip. These more bottles? Oh, and these have the tops that remove. So there's vampire bat wings, cobweb dust again, and toxic pumpkin tonic in the same little bottles. Different but Smaller, color. yeah. Okay. And we've got Eat, Drink, and Be Scary for 15 bucks. And that's a wooden sign. Yeah, about a quarter inch thick, so. Nice and beefy, be cool in the kitchen. Or the hanging over the bar. And man, more bottles again. Vampire blood. For $8.99. And beware, ghosts on it. Alright, there's one more aisle. We're gonna creep over there. Let's see what else they got. Alright guys, they got more pillows. Welcome witches. Little shadow box sign for 15 bucks. Oh, they got kind of a snake with some green glitter flowers. Ugh. Green glitter flowers is 19 bucks for the plaque, so that's not bad. It's got a cool frame. Till Death Do Us Part. I believe this is a small version of the uh, typewriter that was at TJ Maxx a few years ago. This guy's 20 bucks. And they have skulls with gold snakes, kind of cool. Little purple rose. Do a cool repaint on them yeah, for 15 bucks. And man, they're getting into plate game. I don't know what the leopard skin or the leopard print of pink and whatever has to do with Halloween, but they got green skull plates which are pretty cool. And there's some kind of defects right here. But these guys are $8.99 a plate. I would say save your money for TJ Maxx. They're cool, unless you're just gonna get one. They brought the hands back this year. How much are the hand hour glasses? 20 bucks for the hand hour glasses. I think I've seen them bigger before. They still have the cool leopard print skull ones here, which I really think are cool. And look at this guy. Wow, man, that is a big old heavy ass resin snake for 21 bucks. Look at him, man. He is huge. I guess you could put him on a table or you know, a door or something. He's monstrous long. That's cool, man. 20 bucks, though. 
I'm gonna hang him back up before some kid knocks him off the shelf. Oh god, I'm touching glitter. God damn it. Alright. Alright guys, I think that's all they got. We're gonna check in, in here maybe like another two weeks or so. Hopefully the fully store will be all loaded up and they'll have all the animatronics and stuff like that. So uh I will see you guys soon. We'll do it again in a week or two. Thanks for watching.